So with the release of Lightning Overdrive, we finally, after about five months, nearly got Bear Bloom. Um, make sure you watch all the way to the end because at the end we're talking about some basic combos um, because I see a lot of people struggling with Bear Bloom on the groups. So yeah, we'll show you some one card, two card combos. Let's get into the profile first though. Uh, right, so we just start with the standard stuff. Three Fractal, uh, just needs no explanation. Same with the Nerval. Same with the Kit, who uh, I really like at three. And then we're on three Keras now. Uh, I bumped this up mainly due to the desires and stuff, and a lot of the times I wanted the third. You can easily play two if you'd rather and want the space for something else, but I like the three. Uh, I just like having as many try names as possible as well, while we don't have that many. Uh, onto the zoos, uh, we run two rat and, sorry, two whip and one rat. I, I don't actually like this at all, but there just isn't anything better at the minute. Um, I tried playing the airborne stuff, I've tried playing other bits and bobs, just couldn't get on with it. Uh, this is good, everyone knows why the zoos are good. Uh, it's just Zeus, that, that's literally it. Um, gives you extra discards for your Keras as well, which can come up sometimes. And then we're still on this, which I saw a lot of, uh, a lot of decks drop, but it's the Barrier Statue. Um, this card is literally three win free wins, and if you tally your deck to sort of complement it, you can just steal game ones because of it, and even game threes. Uh, it's, it's so good. Um, especially with the zoos as well, like you can, often you can make this without using your normal summon, and then you can just make something like a Dryden, which means if you don't have the, the backup cards for this, then you're, you're sorted anyway. And then the only hand traps we actually run are three Ash Blossom. Space is really tight in this deck. Um, it's like a sort of 31 card sort of main deck with, and then the other nine is sort of your flex spots. Um, but I think Ash is sort of the most versatile and the best hand trap at the minute. Uh, so that's why we run it. We do run more on the side though. Uh, onto the spells, we don't run too many, but we run a three tanky to just get your fractals and your zoos. Uh, we run a barrage. We run a called by uh, because Lancia can just go to hell. Uh, we run three Book of Moon. Um, this is something Jake's been an advocate of for for ages, and I only recently started playing it. Um, it's really good with the Barrier Statue because often their only way to edit it will be just the normal summon, and the Book of Moon just sees to that. Again, it's an excellent sixth card as well, which is just always a joy to have, as opposed to something like Torrential, which completely counteracts your Barrier Statue uh, plays. We then run three Desires. Um, everything's a three of in the deck. Um, sometimes this can hurt, but you know, you just play around it. And it's nice as well with the barrier statue to have the option of doing this um, as sort of your first play. And if you banish the barrier statue, now we've got Bear Bloom, you can just end on Appaloosa with like three back row, one of them being a revolt, which is always good. Uh, speaking of the devil, we run three revolts. This card is legitimately broken. Um, it's even better now you can search it. It's such a good card. You'll go plus three off it. It's just broken. Uh, we also run three strike, best trap in the game, hands down, and three judgment, um, simply for like back row removal and back row hate and stuff like that. And it's also funny as well to like if you can read the situation where the normal summon is the only out to the statue, you just judgment the summon, and a lot of the time they'll just scoop. And then the last card is an imperial order. Um, the trap, the spells that you do run are sort of been and gone by the time you'll activate your imperial order, so you're not really cutting yourself off. Um, it's just another really good card that hurts the meta a lot. So that's the main deck, it's exactly 40 cards, we'll get into the extra deck. Uh, so for the extra deck, we'll start with the Ferrajit. Uh, you only need one, um, you don't need two, you've never needed two, don't believe the hype, you only need one. Uh, it's really, really good in this, to get stuff out of your hand. We run the one of the newest Donny, the newest Tri Brigade Bear Bloom. I absolutely love this card. Unfortunately, I can only find room for one. Uh, the extra deck is even tighter than the main deck, um, but this card is just fantastic. Uh, we run Ron Rugal, it's like, a vanilla in the extra deck, it does nothing, but it's a, a link three. Uh, you'll use it to climb into your access code, get rid of junk off your board, stuff like that. And then we run two Shireg. Um People do run three. I wouldn't argue against three, it's just the room. If you have the room, play three, if not, just play two, but the third can come up sometimes. Uh, for the sort of generic stuff, we run an Almirage. This is to just start combos off your kit, it's very, very good. And then for your sort of beast targets, we run one Double Dragons, card sick, uh, one Conductor. Um, a lot of people cut this, and you can cut it if you want to play some extra zoos or other bits and bobs, maybe a third Chirag or a second Bear Broom. I like it simply because it means it gives you a way to get to your um, Smorg if you can only banish two, and it's also a way to get rid of the statue um, on the end phase, so you can just push for game on the next turn. It's really good. Uh, we run the Smorg, uh, this card's silly. We run one Harass Valga, I really like this card. A lot of people forget it goes up to 48 attack, and you can just whammy them with it, it's sick. Um, for your Link 4s, we run one Appaloosa. Again, really easy. You spit it out with three or four materials sometimes. It's just so, so good. Uh, one access code, just GG's. Uh, and then for the Zoo package, we only run one Dryden and one Borbo. Uh, this is all I run. 
Um, I get why people run more, it's again just a space thing and I'm not that sort of bothered about the zoo engine um, because a lot of the time if you go first you'll steal your game ones and then Borbo is just enough really to clean up and then you run the Zeus. Silly card uh, almost certainly will be banned by the end of the year, that's a Sanctum Squad prediction. Um, yeah, just a really good card. So I'm going to take you through some quick combos now um, because a few people are a bit confused with the new stuff so yeah let's get into that. Alright, so we've taken you through uh, two or three quick combos um, just to get people started with the deck. These are generally the cards that will revolve around your combos. The rest is just, you know, the bits and bobs. Uh, so we'll just show you what one Fractal or a Tenki can get you at the minute. We'll start with the Tenki because it's just sort of the best one uh, and it, you open it most of the time. Um, Tenki, get your Fractal. Fractal send kit, kit send Nerval. Nerval effect, usually, well, always it depends on your hand. Um, for this instance, we'll just get Keras just for the sake of variety, but it does depend on your hand. If you've got, uh, say, a spare zoo in your hand that you're not going to need, uh, always get the Keras, just bin it, get an extra thing for your, for your uh, tri brigade effects and whatnot. But we'll just summon the Keras, we'll activate the effect, um, we'll get the Samorg, and then we'll set our back row, we'll do what we need to, and in the end phase, the Samorg just gets the statue. And off one card, we've gone plus four, we've got the statue, which means we're not dying next turn and potentially that I can't even play. And then with your other back row, your Book of Moons, your Judgments, etc, etc, uh, you can go off even more. But that's a really, really basic combo, but we'll get into something a bit more advanced now. So the next combo I wanted to show you is how to utilise Bear Bloom properly. And for this combo, we're just going to use Fractal and any two cards. So we're going to use these two because they're the most inconsequential. Um, but yeah, so you're going to start again with your Fractal effect as most of your turns start. Fractal into Kit, Kit into Nerval. Nerval, get your Keras. Yeah, that will do for now. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to summon our Keras. This is our hand, don't forget. Activate the Keras effect. Um, with this, I would probably say, uh, make sure you banish your Nerval. Um, but banishing the uh, Fractal or the Kit sort of depends on the situation. Um, you can usually see where your players are going here, so if you want the float off the kit or you'd rather you need the fractal for something else for next turn or something, then just get what you need. But I'm going to go for kit just to show you. Uh, and from here, we're going to get a brand new bear broom. Uh, so from here, you can see where the blank cards come in. You'll activate your bear broom effect, you'll pitch two cards, you'll get usually your nervel um, because that's the one you tend to want to see back. Now you've got your Nerval effect that's fresh and ready to trigger, and you can also get rid of these. Um, again, depending on extenders, this combo can go various different ways. But just for this video, uh, we're just going to straight away turn all these into your Apollosa, which is an Apollosa for three. Uh, Apollosa for three. And then you'll use your um, Bear Bloom once you've gone to the grave. Add your Revolt, took something else back from your hand. And again, that's just a sort of one and like two half card combo. It gets you three negates, an interruption, another search and another mill, which is just great. But a sort of delineation on this combo, if we just rewind, is where, rewind to when we had, uh, we've got the cards in hand, is if you have these cards and another tri-brigade. So for instance, we'll say we have a Keras. Um, because the combo does change slightly um, as you give yourself sort of more options. Uh, so again, we're just going to start the combo by discarding the Fractal. Fractal milling kit, Nerval, uh, kit milling Nerval, and then your Nerval getting you a search. Now you don't want to search your Keras in this instance because you've already got one in hand. Um, so we will search something like uh, another kit. So now you could special summon your Keras, and it means that if you have another Tri Brigade in hand, which believe me does happen, the amount of monster soup hands you get is annoying sometimes, but it means that if your, kit, if your Keras gets stopped, you do have a backup. However, we'll just assume we don't have that, and we'll normal summon Kit. From here, we'll activate Kit's effect, banishing the uh, Nerval and the Kit. Always the Nerval. Uh, and this is going to get us, not the Bear Broom this time, but our Ferragit. Another thing to note as well, I'm just doing this sort of off the cuff because it's sort of test hand combos, but make sure you're marking out where you want your zones to be because it's very easy to sort of zone lock yourself in this deck. Um, so yeah, as you can see. From here, we're gonna activate the effect of our uh, Ferragit and summon our Keras. And now we have, again, various different ways we can go. Um, one good way for this particular combo would be to get rid of the Ferragit and the Kit. Uh, into the grave, go into your bear broom, there most definitely with this hand, 
Um, you'll get to draw a card and tuck a card back with your fairy chip, but again, that's just inconsequential RNG and doesn't really matter in this instance. You've now got three materials for your Keras if you want to summon. If not, you can um, go off in other ways. But what we're going to do is activate our Keras first. We're going to banish uh, a Fractal and a Ferrigit for a two. And this is going to get us our double Dragon Lords, which is a phenomenal card. I really love that guy. Um, from here as well, you need to remember your summons just in case, but this is... Um, this is well over the Nibiru point now, so if you can make your combos Nibiru proof, which are possible again with your delineations of hands, then you should. Uh, but now we're going to activate our Bear Bloom, we just discard our two blank cards, um, and we're going to revive our Nerval. Now, uh, something to note here is if you already have a Revolt in hand, you can go into the Samorg this way. Um, and it means that, because if you already had the Revolt in hand, you'd have pre-planned your turn. So you'd have summoned your Keras first and then uh, summoned your Kit, so you get the float next turn with the Samor, because they'll have to kill that. Um, this hand is just assuming we don't, but we'll again turn these three uh, into the Apaloza. Uh, I think it's in this pile. Yes, it is. Get the Apaloza. This is Apaloza for three, and we've searched the Revolt now as well off the Bear Bloom. Um, so again, that's just two card combo, or two and two half cards, because they have to be discards. You've got a three uh, negate Appaloosa, so you've got your Revolt, which is going to send you Mad Plus, and you've got your Dragon Lords. And um, to rewind, again, slightly in the combo, to when our board was uh, Nerval, Bear Bloom, and Kellus, if you had opened this Revolt, um, they're already engraved, if you'd opened this Revolt, instead of needing to search it through the Bear Broom, then you can go through a different way here. So you can, um, instead of summoning your Keras off your Ferragit, you'd have summoned that first, and instead you'd summon your Kit off your Ferragit. This is only to get um, extra value uh, during your turn. It doesn't actually make or break anything, but it's only to get the extra value. And then instead of going into the Appaloosa for three, you turn these two into your Samorg. Um, and then important to remember not to trigger your Bear Broom because it locks you into Tri Brigade, so you won't get that summon off the kit. But in this particular combo, you've either already opened the Revolt or you know what your opponent's playing, it's game two, it's game three. You've judged that you don't need the Revolt in this particular instance. Uh, and then in the uh, end phase, your Samorg will trigger and get your Barrier Statue, always in a Samorg zone. Um, make, uh, take advantage of the free targeting, don't be silly. And then, yeah, that means this combo, you don't need a Book of Moon or anything to protect your Samorg because you've got the Double Dragons. You're getting a plus off your Double Dragons when you send it uh, with the kit, sort of sets you up for next turn. And then when it is next turn, you've got your normal summon. You can go into something like an Appaloosa with your normal summon to get rid of the statue. You can go into Conductor to get rid of the statue again, and just whatever you need. So there's three uh, slash four sort of really easy combos with the deck. And I'd urge you, if you're unsure about this deck, Follow these combos as a bit of a guideline, but just where I've um, stopped and showed different plays, just test hand and just see what you can get to. Uh, it's really fun with this deck just to do that and just see how far you can push it. Right, so that's the list of some combos. Um, let me know what you thought, any changes you make. Uh, the deck's very adaptable and flexible, and it's always changing due to the nature of this tight base support. Changes again in a month or five weeks time when we get the new Lyrilus stuff, so I'll be sure to update it then as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.